All right, so what is DHT? I'm Dr. Joy, sports certified dermatologist, and welcome back to Detangling Hair Loss. DHT stands for dihydrotestosterone. It's a hormone derived from testosterone. And yes, we all have some level of it, regardless of your gender. But here's the catch. If your hair follicles are sensitive to DHT, the hormones bind to those receptors in the scalp, causing those follicles to gradually shrink. And over time, this leads to androgenetic alopecia, or male or female pattern hair loss. How does DHT affect the hair? It shortens the hair growth cycle. Eventually, hair become thinner, shorter, and stop growing altogether. That's why you might notice a widening part, thinning at the crown, or overall reduced density. We can't stop our body's production of DHT completely, and to be honest, that's not the goal, but we can reduce its effect using evidence-based treatments. Examples of these include oral finasteride, which blocks the conversion of testosterone to DHT. This is best for men and not often used in women unless you are post-menopausal. Spironolactone, which helps lock DHT receptors in women with hormonal hair loss, an added bonus, it is the GOAT or hormonal acne, saw palmetto. So some studies have shown that saw palmetto can help reduce DHT levels. However, the evidence is much weaker in comparison to pharmaceuticals and prescriptions such as finasteride. So the key takeaway here is DHT related hair loss is progressive but treatable. And if you're seeing signs, early intervention actually matters a lot because once follicles are really gone, it's really hard to get them back and they usually don't come back. Follow for more detangling hair loss tips and drop your questions below in the comments. Your healthiest hair is still ahead.